Jules, we have a new leader in the Premier yeah. League. There's a shock. Manchester City beat Fulham 2-1, which means they have a one-point uh, lead and a game in hand. Yeah, that's right. Gabby at Craven Cottage. Um, they concede a goal again. I mean, I don't know if that's something they should worry about or not. They could have uh, conceded more. Though. They could have scored more. They could have conceded more. Yeah, right? definitely. Definitely. It was quite an open game. Maybe more than... You would have thought so. So I, I thought they showed a lot of resilience <clears throat> in this game because a, a, a two-one. We, we take it for granted. But like, so, it's not a good team they play against. There's no Mitrovic. It's not a good team. It's fine. It's still a team, it's still a top ten team in the Premier okay, League. But they should have been more in control than what they were. Exactly, and but I think that's a credit to Fulham, and I think also. Yeah. I I think Pep actually, even though people take it for, for granted, they're going to win every game from here to the end, and the season's over. I think Pep knows how easy it is to drop points. Yeah, and, maybe. You know, it took an Alvarez uh, amazing goal. goal, amazing goal from and Alvarez Ederson at the end. Yeah, very lucky yeah, yeah, not yeah. to uh, not to concede a penalty and get himself sent off. That's very true. Again, so a good win in the end because it was a very important one, especially after the uh, the demonstration against Arsenal. But yeah, there's clearly some work still to be done, which is a good thing for us as well. And that penalty scored by Hurling Haaland was his fiftieth goal of the season. Gab he's already made history. Uh, he has. It's his 34th league goal, which means he yeah. equal, equals um, the the Premier League record, which was held by Andy Cole and uh, and Alan Shear. Does it in a lot less games. Uh, obviously, since his since football in this country began in 1992, we don't need to tell you that uh, the actual record is 60 goals. Yeah, uh, he probably won't hit 60 nope. in the league this season. Uh, although with that guy, who knows? Uh, but I want to focus on the 50 goals in all competitions. Robert Lewandowski's done it twice. Luis Suarez has done it once. I don't, and obviously Messi yeah. and Cristiano both did it six times. This guy's done it age 22. I don't know if there's somebody else who's hit 50 goals in the last kind of 20, 30 years. I don't think there is other than those four. I mean, there may no, be. No, I don't I'm think there is either. Um, this is pretty unbelievable. It is crazy. And I think he's still, he's still in time as well, depending how many he's at the end of the season, to have... 50 goals without penalties this season. So if you take out the you penalties... You always dive which, deeper in the which, stats. Yeah, which I think only Suarez and Messi have done, ever. So score 50 goals with no penalties. I mean, you could have Don't scored more that. with penalties. Don't say that. Cristiano Ronaldo fans are going to come after no, you. No, no, but it's true. But it, that doesn't take anything away from Cristiano. But it's just that 50 goals in a season, so non-penalty, 50 right. goals, non-penalties, um, is just, just Suarez and Messi. And if he does that on his first season... And it, the only thing is, I was thinking about it the other day, this, this surely is just the beginning, right? Because in those 50, you need to take in consideration the fact that he had to adapt in right. a way to a new team, a new league, he's still quite young. There was a lot of change in, in his own life, you know, moving yeah. from Germany to England, blah, blah, blah. So really, surely next season should be a better one because there won't be any of that to go through. City will have would be used to play with him, him with City. Yeah. They'll probably be a better team even if they sign Bellingham, for example. What, like, so what? What's next should after we, that? Should I, I mean, you could also make the point, and it's the one my Bundesliga, our Bundesliga fanatic colleagues would make, make <laughs> that, well, you went to an easier league to score, and so you scored more goals. Oh, no. No, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. kidding, just kidding. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.